God timing. What is God timing? All right. To understand God timing, we have to understand who we are. Who we are. Who are we? We are not just this body. We are spiritual beings. Um, this body is only for this dimension. We have our higher self. Um, we have our Christ self. Some people call it higher self, Christ self, or soul, or spirit. That's who we are. We are multi-dimensional beings. That's who we are. All right, so God, time it. What is time? According to this book, Healing Your Adam Codman's Body, according to this book, time is doesn't have a beginning. Time does not exist. Time doesn't have an end. So if time doesn't have a beginning and time doesn't have an end, what is God timing? So according to this author, God timing is being in the now moment. God timing is being in the now moment. And whatever you're doing now, right, in this moment, don't allow your thoughts to go to anything or anywhere else. Just stay right here. If we live in the God moment, we live in a perpetual um, stage of meditation. That's what God time is. And if you look at our animals, look at the animals and all of God's creation. They live in God time. Look at them. They don't go out there toiling for anything. They don't go out there working for anything. They just live. They just do what they came here to do. So that's God timing. So what does it mean to be in God timing? When you're in God timing, remember at the beginning I said we are not this, this body. We're not just this body. We are multidimensional beings. Our true self is, is with our Father. True self. Of knowledge of the creation. Of knowledge of who we are and what's best for us. So in God's time, your true self, your spiritual self, your higher self, your Christ self, whatever you want to call that, takes control and lead and guide your every moment. And lead and guide your direction. There's no more um, your thoughts leading you and taking you into different directions. No. This is all coming from the throne. This is all coming from the source. The, our, our true being of who we truly are are directing us and guiding us in this realm. That's one of the benefits of being in a God moment. Another benefits of being in the God moment, we il eliminate certain sicknesses. Example, depression, anxiety. Just imagine when you're in that God moment, you're not worrying about what's next. You're not worrying about how your bills going to pay. You're just living. You're just going with the direction of your higher self, the all-knowing self, the God of your being. You're just following the direction of the God of your being um, to, to lead and guide you every moment. So you're not worried about what's coming next. So that's one of the benefits of being on God's timing, eliminating disease. Another thing um, that um, being on this time does and being in ourself does is, is our thoughts. Our thoughts, and, and if you follow my, my ministry, I tell you, um, we, I talked about the, our thoughts are powerful. Our thoughts create our reality. Our thoughts create sickness. Our thoughts create our disease. I know we think it's the enemy, but it's the programming that we've gotten here in this realm. And we allow it to, to, to take control of our, um, of our mind and create things that we don't want and create things that we don't want. So when we're on God's time, our thoughts are, are not roaming free into... In, in, into this fleshy um, um, 
fleshy dimension into this ego driven dimension it's it, it's it's running into the spiritual dimension where where everything is guided and directed so we're not our mind is not not creating disease for us our mind is not creating lack for us our mind is not not putting us you, you know into into things that will affect our vibration and another thing that um in the god mo what the god moment does is increase our vibration we have to understand oh important it is to increase our vibration to increase our frequency and when when we're following and this is what vibration is all about you know when we're following the direction of of our father when we're following the direction of of our true self and just following the direction of say of the spiritual realm whatever you want to call yourself or call it the you know that spiritual realm then we we don't take any thoughts in this, this physical realm as nothing to hold us down this the, the physical realm as nothing to distract us to distract us with you know and that's why and that's why christ said take no thoughts why you see how it lines up with the word take no thoughts in what you shall eat or what you shall drink take no thoughts he said he provides for the bird of the year and so he will provide for us so that's being in the god moment what he's telling us there is being in the god timing being in god's timing so this is it let us try to be in god's timing wake up and we just be in the moment we're here right now our mind's gonna we're gonna force our mind to be right here i'm standing right here making that video not on what i'm what's ne what i'm gonna do at work tomorrow or what i'm gonna cook for dinner right here and being in the moment and let our true self guide us let our true self lead and guide every aspect of our lives so we'll eliminate a lot of sickness and diseases will eliminate uh, uh, a lot of things we allow um, our our physical self our thoughts our ego to put us in and we'll just live the life that God wants us to live here on earth so if you hear somebody says God timing listen all they're saying is live in this moment live in the moment right here this is where you're at right now don't be thinking of anything else your next step will determine by your higher self your next um step will determine um by the god of your being by the god of your being yeah so this is what god timing is let me hear your comment god be blessed everyone be blessed